Hi there, I'm Kyle. I make videos sometimes for Subpixel. Uh, I was supposed to plan this video out. I totally didn't. That's on me. You can decide whether or not you like it. If you do, great. If you don't, I really don't care. Uh, the reason I'm wearing sunglasses is because I had my eyes dilated and the light that I'm staring into makes me really, really dizzy uh, if I'm not wearing sunglasses or something to dim it. So you're just going to have to suffer through it for the rest of the video. And I'm sorry. I know I look like a jerk. Video games have uh, many different types of levels in them. And some of those video games have levels that have snow in them. We're going to talk about some video games that have levels that are very cold or take place in the winter. So here's my list of the best wintry video game levels of the past few years. All right, first one up, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Snow Peak Ruins. Uh, Zelda has a long history of like water levels that people hate or just fill players with a sense of dread. Uh, but how about frozen water levels, huh? When I played through Twilight Princess, this was one of the more memorable levels I remember playing. Really, it was because some of the characters that you meet um, Yeto and Yetta, who are like the Yeti characters. I mean, Nintendo, you really went all out like, with the naming conventions there, so congrats. The entire level sort of unfolds traditionally as it would, where you go through a series of opening central hubs of the dungeon, and then you find little ancillary rooms with, with items and keys that you unlock, and it, it unfolds traditionally. But the way it unfolds is a little bit different. There's a ton of new enemy types that are shown off, like there's ice wolves, and there's like this frozen wall with like a dragon's head on it, which is really cool. But then there's also a ton of new puzzle mechanics that are opening up different parts of the map with like the ice maze, there's cannonballs, and most importantly, you get to make soup with Yeto, which is pretty cool. It's Zelda, it's great, it's frozen, and it's awesome. Go play it. I was a bit of a Nintendo nut growing up, so uh, the next one is Metroid Prime, the Fendrana Drifts level. Uh, it's wintry, it's secluded, it's cold, it's massive. There's a really awesome shot of Ridley flying over top of you and it's just the best. And the music, the music is legitimately one of the best parts of this whole level. The way it weaves in and out during action and uh, exploration moments, it sort of like pumps you up or you know, sets you at ease uh, depending on what you're doing within the game, which is really cool. And of course you find the boost ball and the wave beam in here, which are both great. And I love how like, in almost every single section where you get a new tool in any matured game, uh, you get a new tool, you get a piece of armor or equipment. There's a very uh, a deliberate part of the map that's clearly designed only for use of that tool. Like literally there's a huge half pipe right after you get the boost ball and you go all Tony Samus pro bounty hunter for no reason. It's, it's great, honestly. Go play it or like listen to the soundtrack because it's freaking awesome. All right, third one is Uncharted 2 Mountaineering, which I believe is chapter 17. This level is all about verticality as most of the puzzle levels are in Uncharted, but there's a much different sense to it in this section of the game with the addition of Tenzin, your Tibetan friend, savior, slash best part of the entire section of the game. The map's laid out obviously very, very, very linearly as most uncharted maps are but having tenzin with you to assist in climbing uh jump hooking or whatever he calls it and towards the end fighting is definitely what sets this level apart in an already standout game and the fact that nathan and tenzin speak entirely different languages but end up coming to trust each other over the course of their time together is once again a credit to the game and the character choices that naughty dog made and <laughs> this line still kills me every time i hear it it's just the best yeah good luck pal I mean, that's almost impossible to oh you did it nice the delivery is just it's a quiet level mostly uh but there's a strong sense of impending dread that sort of ratchets up the deeper you make your way through the crevasses and frozen rocky terrain until this quick angle happens and just holy crap did you see that what was that thing am i gonna have to fight that yeah it's great but my one complaint though is that nathan does this entire level without gloves just uh no here. your hands would be frozen solid within like a minute uh, even tenzin has gloves i mean otherwise you know it's a pretty awesome level all right, the last one I want to highlight is, of course, Modern Warfare 2 Cliffhanger. Now, Cliffhanger was the mission that Infinity Ward used to showcase Modern Warfare 2 at E3, and man, did it make an impression. Even though uh, playing through it the exact same way it's shown at E3 might sound boring, it's always gotten my heart pumping like the best action movies do. I mean, if you think about it, it's sort of like 
a very compact action movie itself. You've got three acts. You know, the first one is uh, ice climbing up the side of the mountain uh, until you enter the frozen base. Uh, it's short and sweet and sets the tone for the rest of the level, which is fantastic. Then you have the second act, which is the entire trek through the camp itself. You uh, stealthily killing people, evading enemies while soap gives you directions. And you plant the bomb on the fuel container and you make your way to the hangar where the ACS module from the uh, captured satellite is, only to reveal that SOAP has suddenly been compromised. And the third act, of course, is the Michael Bay moment of the entire level where all hell breaks loose and you fight and shoot and blast your way out of the base, only to be told to go even further by jumping on a snowmobile and racing your way across like a frozen lake and down a mountain and then into a helicopter all while shooting enemies with like an automatic pistol, dodging missiles from enemy helos. It's it's just a perfect distillation of what made Modern Warfare 2 so iconic and a reminder of when Call of Duty was just absolutely on top of the world insofar as popularity is concerned and when I think the game design was just top notch from Infinity Ward. So that's it. Those are my favorite sort of wintry themed levels uh, that I've played in the past few years and uh, you know if you have any levels yourself that you'd like to talk about put them down in the comments. I'll be around and uh, answering stuff if anyone even watches this video and if you didn't then screw you. If you did thank you. You're my favorite person in the entire world. I love you. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Subpixel. If you like this video and you're still around, give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a kiss.